Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to recreate the Lily Rose that makeup look and I'm so excited because I love this makeup look. It's so pretty. You can see it here and this is what we're recreating today. So I would say let's start. Okay, so I already prepped my skin with a moisturizer. I used this one from Douglas. And now I'm going to use this foundation. It's from YSL. I have the shade MW9. And this one is, I would say it's matte, but normally I love glowy makeup. But for this makeup look, I need a matte one. So this one's perfect. I would say it's something between matte and glowy. The shade is maybe a little bit too dark for me right now, but I will fix it. And of course, if your foundation is too dark, you can fix it with concealer, with lighter concealer, or if uh, your foundation is too light, you can use like more bronzer. But look how pretty like this coverage is. But yeah, it's like way too dark for me right now. And I'm using this brush from Kaya. It's F14 and I really like this one for a foundation because you can like tap it in, into your face and it's working really good. Okay, so this is how my face looks like after applying the foundation and as you can see you have like a glow here so it's not that matte and now i'm going to fix it a little bit with a concealer and i'm going to use my favorite concealer from huda beauty in the shade coconut flakes 2.7 n and now i'm going to use a bit more So up to here, my nose, and this area, perfect, and then I'm going to blend it with a damp beauty blender, and now you just have to tap it into your face like this. And blend everything very well so you see now it's not that dark anymore mm -hmm. I need to check the makeup look one more time okay so this is the makeup look and I love her like smoky eyes and the eyeliner is like so pretty and her cheeks I don't know if it's like if you can see it but she has like pinky cheeks and yeah I really love this makeup look so let's see how it turns out next we need contour and I'm going to use this one from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade Medium Deep. I'm going to apply here. Maybe just a little bit here. And then my nose. This is like the best part, contouring the nose. Love it. And then you can just add a little bit more on your eyelids like this and then we need the beauty blender and we're going to blend it you just need to tap into your face gently like this 
and always try to blend it up so not down try to make your movements up so this is also like a perfect base for the eyeshadow I don't know if you all know, but I was born and raised in Germany, so of course I'm speaking German. That's why my English is not perfect, but also my parents are from Romania, so I'm also speaking Romanian fluently. And yeah, look, it's going to be really nice. Snatched nose. I can already see like a difference. And up to forehead. Okay, perfect. But I just need a little bit more concealer under my eyes. And I have just the perfect eyeshadow palette for this makeup look from Kylie Cosmetics. And look how nice these shades are. So it's really perfect for the Lily Rose Dead makeup look. Okay, so. This is how my face looks like now and I would say the next part is... Hmm, where is my, my translucent powder? It's not here. Okay, so then I think I'm going to fix everything with this uh, powder from Pat Grab. Let Oh no! <gasps> so sad okay so I'm going to fix everything with my uh, powder from Charlotte Tilbury in the shade 2 and I'm using this brush this one is also from Charlotte Tilbury and I'm going to set my under eyes and this area here because this one is always like shiny And also a little bit here. My chin. Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. And the next step is shaping my brows. With this goof proof brow pencil from Benefit in the shade 3.5, and I'm going to fill in my my gaps. Is it gaps? I don't know. Like this, and then it's so important to like blend everything after. That looks smooth. Okay, and here also you see here I have a gap and then I'm going to fill it in. And also here a little bit. And then blend everything. Okay, and this is all so I will leave my brows like this and then I think I'm going to start with my eyes and now I'm using the Kylie Cosmetics 
pressed powder palette in the shade I don't know there's no shade okay so I'm using a brush and I'm going to create a base for my eyes and I'm using I would say this shade it's nude shade nude and I'm going to apply it on my whole eyelid up to my brows So next I'm going oops, so next I'm going to use the same uh, shade so nude and I'm going to apply it on my bottom lash line and I'm going to bring it up to this point and this side the same like this. Okay, next I'm going to use a smaller brush, so a brush like this, but it's also a fluffy brush, I would say, so it's a fluffy small brush and I'm going to use a, sm a small, uh, uh, a darker shade, so I use chocolate and I'm going to apply it here and I'm going to create a V shape. so important to really blend everything so good so take your time and blend it and again mm -hmm. and then I'm going to bring this shade also to this area so I'm creating like a light shade here and this part is dark in this too let's see her makeup look once again mm -hmm. You already see a difference. Perfect. And then I'm doing the same on this side. So trying to create a V shape. And then bring it up to this point and blend it in this area. Perfect. And then we need this this brush again, and I'm also dipping into chocolate and trying to. blend also everything in that we have like one line and this line is like connecting you know also here you see perfect and then we need this fluffy brush and we're going to Blend everything so it looks smooth and nice. Okay, and now we need a lighter shade. So I'm yeah, maybe I'm using this one so it's natural, and I'm going to highlight 
this part again. Okay, and then um, I'm using this big brush again and I'm going to blend everything. So it looks like this. Now I'm going to create a perfect eyeshadow liner. So I'm using this black shade here. I'm trying to create a really nice... Okay, maybe I need this mirror. trying to create a straight liner so it's like really straight up to here and then I'm going to bring it here mm -hmm. And also this part is so important because it changes the look so much if you have like a dark shape here. Do you see like the difference? Okay, so a bit more. Now I'm doing the other side, I'm trying to create a straight. like this okay so this is how it looked like and now I'm trying to use this brush and I'm going to use the black shade and try to bring it to the waterline and then connect it to the eyeliner as well This. And now we're going to the most important step, of course, eye pencil. And I'm using this one from Huda Beauty in the shade black, I think. Very Vanta Extreme Black. And I'm going to on my waterline maybe two times so I'm waiting like one minute and everything is set and also I'm trying to put it on my top waterline but it's so hard Whew. Try to put your eye pencil here. Oh no. Okay, so this is my eye makeup look without my mascara. But I'm going to wait and do my blush routine and of course I've, I'm first using a liquid blush and then after my favorite Dior blush and this one is so pretty it's a new one from NARS in the shade Orgasm and I'm going to apply it here and then I warm it up Look how pretty the shade is. And then I'm tapping it into my face like this. And look, oops, look how pretty. So this side. The nose. Then I need a powder blush. I'm using this brush, it's um, from Kiko, and then this 
powder a blush from Dior, Rosy Glow 001 Pink. And then I'm going to apply it on my cheeks like this. coat of eye pencil so now we have a really intense eye makeup and we need mascara and I'm using this one from Huda Beauty it's the one coat wow mascara and I love this one because really after one coat it's so pretty I don't know if I should like put mascara on my bottom lashes, but I think I will put just a little bit like this. And one more coat for the extreme wow effect. On this side. Okay. And the bottom lashes and maybe here just a little bit more and now we are going to create a lip combo let's check one more time her lips mm -hmm. okay so her lips um it's not Okay, now perfect. So you see her uh, lip liner is like brownish and then she has like a nude, beige nude lipstick, I think. And I'm trying to use this um, brow pencil in the shade 4 from Benefit. It's the Gimme Brow Pencil. And I'm trying to overline my lips. With this shade, oh, I think it's such a perfect lip liner, too. To blend it with my finger, maybe just here a little bit more. And then I'm going to use this lipstick from Kylie. It's the shade One for the Books. And you see it's like a nude beige shade. And it's perfect. I'm going to blend it with my finger. And I'm not going to use gloss. I don't think so. No, I'm not using glass. Glass. This is my makeup look. Let's do a little bit more powder to fix everything. And then we are ready to go. Okay, so this is my final result, my Lily Rose Dev Makeup look, and this is how it looks like. I hope you like this video and let me know if you want me to recreate maybe another makeup look from, I don't know, Kylie Jenner or Hailey Bieber. Let me know in the comments and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Love you guys. See you next time. Bye bye.